Over the years, TDS have received a total of 21 skin crates, each having their own unique themes and designs. Some of them are no longer available, while some of them can be purchased straight from the shop. Some crates are amazing, while some are kinda mid. So in this video, I'll be ranking every skin crate from worst to best. I won't always be showcasing every skin, but I'll show the skins that most influence my ranking. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. In last place, we have the Party Skin Crate. This is no longer obtainable, but could previously be purchased from the 2019 Christmas event. There are only three towers in this crate, being a Scout, Soldier, and Minigunner. The skins are identical to the original designs, but just have a little party hat on their head. The only skin from this crate that's okay is the minigunner as this final upgrade actually has a pretty unique design. But since two out of three of the skins in this crate suck, I'm ranking it as the worst skin crate. Ahead of the party crate, in 20th place, we have the toy crate. This crate can be purchased from the shop for 850 coins and get three different toy skins, that being the minigunner, rocketeer, and soldier. While they are kinda clean, the skins are super basic. They are just completely green, with the only relatively unique one being the rocketeer, which has a toy rocket launcher. The complexity matches the price of this crate, but still, very mid. Ahead of the toy crate in 19th place with the basic crate. This crate could be purchased from the shop for 500 coins, making it the cheapest crate available. All skins from this are just recolors, with almost every tower in the game having at least a couple basic skins. While most skins are really boring, there are a couple nice ones, like the Survivor Scout and the two Accelerator recolors. In my opinion, the Navy Accelerator is actually one of the nicer Accelerator skins. Because of the surprising quality of these skins, despite the low cost, I decided to rank it above the toy crate. Ahead of the basic crate in 18th place with the Valentine's crate, which could be purchased during the 2020 Valentine's Day event. It has four skins, being the the Archer, Electroshocker, Pyromancer, and Ranger. Don't get me wrong, these skins are pretty sweet. I really like the Ranger and Electroshocker as their designs and colors look great. However, they are really outdated and compared to other skin crates in the game, they just aren't as high quality and there aren't many skins available in this crate. Ahead of the Valentine's crate, at 17th place, we have the Bunny Skin Crate. It can be purchased during the 2020 Spring Event and contains a bunch of pink furry bunny skins. While most of the skins are of similar or even worse quality than the Valentine's crate, there is way more skins to choose from and the Minigunner and Ranger skins look really clean due to having an updated appearance. Also, I just really like the color and I think the skins are pretty funny. So, while I don't love this crate, I'm gonna rank it one above the Valentine's crate. Ahead of the Bunny crate in 16th place with the 2019 Christmas crate. It can be purchased from the shop during the 2019 Christmas event and only has four skins, being the Christmas Farm, Minigunner, Crook Boss, and Rocketeer. While the Farm and Minigunner are some pretty cool skins, the others are kinda basic. Also, even though I like the Farm, it faces so much competition from other Farm skins and honestly isn't that great. On top of that, this is literally just the worst version of the next skin crate on this list. In 15th place, ahead of the 2019 Christmas crate, we have the Jolly Crate. This crate is still available, but is limited time along with the current winter event. It has the same farm and minigunner skin from the previous crate, which were the only good skins, and it now has a bunch of elf themed skins on top of that. While I honestly don't like the green color of these skins very much, the Shotgunner, Crook Boss, and Cowboy look pretty clean. But my personal favorite elf skin is the Commander, which when using its ability, rings a little bell. So, because the skin crate is basically an upgraded version of the previous crate, I ranked it above at 15th place. Next up, in 14th place, we have the Cold Front Crate. This crate can currently be purchased from the shop for 3,000 coins and has a couple winter themed skins. Unfortunately, most of the skins are pretty mediocre, having relatively basic designs and nothing too special. There are, however, two skins in this crate that I really like, being the Ice Witch Accelerator and Brave Soul Sledger. They both have a very unique design, and they're honestly 9 out of 10 skins. However, the rest of the skins in this crate really hold it back, which is why it places so low. Ahead of this crate, in 13th place, we have the Frost Crate. This crate could only be purchased from the shop during the 2021 Frost Invasion event. It only has four skins, being the Pyromancer, Minigunner, Ranger, and Commander. While not being super flashy, all these skins look fantastic in my opinion. There's a lot of detail put into them, like the thick white fur coat on the Ranger, along with ice spikes sticking out of it. If it had more than just four skins, it definitely would have ranked a lot higher, as I personally find myself using these skins a lot. Above the Frost Crate, in 12th place, we have the Lovely Skin Crate. This could be obtained during Valentine's 2023 and give a variety of Valentine's themed skins. My personal favorites are the Scout, Militant, Heartbreak Engineer, and Accelerator. These are all great skins, with the Heartbreak Engineer being one of my favorite engineer skins. Also, the Cupid Accelerator looks fantastic, with an awesome pink design and red beam. The Scout and Militant also look really clean, despite not being super flashy. Unfortunately, the rest of the skins in this crate look kinda weird, especially the Crook Boss, which is why I put it at 12th place. Above the Valentine's Crate, in 11th place, we have the Pumpkin Crate. This crate could be obtained during the 2020 Halloween event, and contains the Gladiator, Minigunner, Rocketeer, Cowboy, and Ace Pilot. Apart from the Ace Pilot, which is literally just an orange version of it, these skins look really nice. I especially love the Gladiator skin, which has an axe as a weapon and turns into Lord Sinister as you upgrade it. Also, the Pumpkin Minigunner looks awesome at max level, having a black and red color palette. The other skins are cool too, like the Pumpkin Cowboy, but personally, I like the Minigunner and Gladiator the most. Anyways, really cool skin crate. Ahead of the Pumpkin Crate, in 10th place, we have the Halloween Crate. This could be purchased during the 2023 Halloween event and has all the pumpkin skins, and also has the Ghost Minigunner, Crusader Minigunner, Hollow Punk Shotgunner, Ghostbuster Excel, Graveyard Farm, and a couple other skins. Because this crate is basically just a pumpkin crate but with more skins, it's obviously going to be ranked above it. Plus, the additional skins are sweet, with the minigunner skins looking great, the farm being really nice, and the excel being, uh, kinda mid. 
Regardless, pretty good crate, so 10th place. In ninth place, we have the premium skin crate. It can be purchased from the shop for 80 Robux and has 41 different skins. It's kind of a mixed bag, with some skins like the Victorian Commander being really mid and hardly different from the basic skin, or fantastic skins like the Wraith Minigunner and Ranger, or the Mage Pyromancer, Arcade Farm, Hazmat Minigunner, and Dark Matter Ranger. I mean, just look how awesome this looks at max level. These skins are all unique and have great designs, and the only thing that holds this crate back is the inconsistency with the quality of skins. If they just removed like half of the trash skins, this would be a really good skin crate. Next up, in 8th place, we have the Ducky Skin Crate. It can be purchased from the shop for 3,000 coins, and has 15 different yellow Ducky themed skins. Some of my favorites from the skin are the Warden, which at max level gets a black and red theme and uses a sandwich as a baton, the Accelerator, which also gets a black and red theme at max level, the Farm, which is just a giant fat duck max level and a minigunner which also looks amazing at max level there are a lot of great skins on this list however personally speaking i don't really like the color yellow i think they all look amazing at max level but i don't like the earlier stages of the skins however i can understand why some people really like it it's a mix of silly and cool which is nice to have so that's why i ranked it at eighth place next up in seventh place with the pirate skin crate it can be purchased from the shop for 3,500 coins and has nine skins available my favorites are the warden which looks absolutely amazing at max level using a giant anchor as a weapon and has a special blue trail when attacking Thank the Gladiator skin, which has a custom animation, and the Pirate Farm, which is the only animated farm in the game. Also, the Pirate Mortar looks clean and has a unique laughing sound effect when it fires. Although, that can get pretty annoying. The other skins in this crate are alright, but not bad enough to lower my ranking of this crate. The skins look nice at all levels, and because of that, I decided to rank it at 9th place. Ahead of the Pirate Crate, in 6th place, we have the Golden Crate. Just to clarify, I'm ranking this based on visuals, not the perks that it gives. You can purchase the Golden Crate from the shop for 50,000 coins, and it has 6 skins total, being the Golden Cowboy, Perk Boss, Minigunner, Soldier, Scout, and Pyromancer. These skins are all super shiny and look very expensive, because, well, they are. My personal favorites are the Golden Minigunner, which completely changes its model, and rocks two giant miniguns instead of just one, making it look way more powerful, and the Pyromancer, which gets a golden halo above its head at max level. There's no skins in this crate that look bad, with all of them being super clean and flashy. I mean, just look at the Golden Cowboy. He looks amazing, with not a single level of it looking whack. While most people will only buy this crate for its perks, I often find myself using the golden skins of this tower purely for their cosmetic appearance. It's really nice, and I like it. Next up, in 5th place, with the Vigilante Crate. You can purchase it from the shop for 3,500 coins, and contains 6 skins, being the Pyromancer, Electroshocker, Shotgunner, Mortar, Vigilante, and Gladiator. These skins all have a black and orange theme, and my personal favorites are the Pyromancer with a really cool design and fire symbols all over, the Gladiator with a custom animation and weapon, the Mortar with futuristic spider legs, and the Accelerator which has a huge laser gun and by far being my favorite Accelerator skin. The only skins in this crate that are kind of mediocre are the Electroshocker and Shotgunner, but those are still pretty good. This crate definitely has some of my favorite skins, which is why it places so high. Ahead of the Vigilante crate, in 4th place with the Halloween 2019 crate. This can be purchased from the shop during the 2019 Halloween event. This is basically like the pumpkin crate, but better. It has all the pumpkin skins and a bunch of demon skins like the Demon Gladiator, Crook Boss, and Gargoyle Commander. The Gargoyle Commander is definitely one of the best commander skins in the game. The Demon Gladiator looks so cool, and all the pumpkin skins look great. The only skins in this crate that aren't amazing are the Pyromancer and Ace Pilot, which aren't too different from the base skins. But overall, fantastic skin crate, and I'm really sad I never got it. Next up, ahead of the 2019 Halloween crate, in third place with the Spooky Crate. This crate could be obtained during the 2020 Halloween Season Pass. This skin crate is amazing. Having a demon gladiator from the 2019 crate, six ghost skins which have super unique design of being blue and see-through, and also includes the ghost DJ, which is in my opinion the best DJ skin of the game. I mean, just listen to how it sounds. Really cool music, thank you Focus. And thanks to the rework, the Ghost Mini is one of the best looking minigunner skins, having an awesome ghostly design. It also has a really popular farm skin, that being the graveyard farm. It has a really sleek design, and at max level has a statue of Lord Sinister in the middle. It also plays a satisfying bone sound effect whenever it makes money. Overall, great skin crate, and very much deserving of such a high spot. But ahead of it, at second place, we have the Deluxe Skin Crate. You can purchase it from the shop for 250 Robux, and it has 20 skins. While a lot of these are pretty mediocre, like the Huntsman Archer and Grand Theft Soldier, there are some amazing skins in this crate. My personal favorite is the Galactic Gladiator, which is such a cool skin. It has a completely dark armor design, and a red lightsaber, representing Darth Vader. It also has some custom sound effects, making lightsaber noises when attacking. 
There's also the Bounty Hunter Cowboy, which is a dark, shadowy version of the original tower. This is also my favorite cowboy skin, as it just looks amazing. The Mage Accelerator is also obtained from this crate, being one of the most unique Accelerator skins. When accelerating, it spins a magic crystal, which then shoots out beams at the enemy. And some honorable mentions, of course, are the Walter White Cowboy skin, the Nico and Rave DJ skin, the Galactic Warden, the Railgunner Ranger, and the Crypto Farm. This crate is packed with amazing skins, each with fantastic styles and designs, which is why it was placed second. But finally, in first place, we have the one and only Phantom Crate. You can purchase it from the shop for 250 Robux, and it contains 9 skins, being the Shotgunner, Scout, Minigunner, Commander, Sledger, Engineer, Ranger, Gladiator, and Toxic Gunner. Apart from the Commander skin, which I'd rank about a 7 out of 10, all these skins are amazing. Almost every one of them have a custom animation and amazing design. My personal favorites are the Gladiator, Minigunner, Ranger, and Engineer, which all just look so good. For example, take a look at the Gladiator's animation. It's literally a ninja, and the minigunner looks like a perfect combination of bulky and goofy, having really strong and protective armor, but also some silly little ears. The engineer has a sweet animation and super clean design, probably being my favorite skin in the game, and the max level ranger looks so intimidating. I love the design of his red mask, and the red beans that shoots from his gun look awesome. The sledger's animation and hammer also makes it look a lot stronger, which fits the rework that it recently got which heavily buffed his damage. Because it literally has to rest his hammer on the ground, it makes it look way heavier, and then it slams the hammer from above, which looks so painful. And look at the scout's design. While the mask might be a little bit creepy, it looks so awesome. Needless to say, this crate is fantastic, and in my opinion, a clear winner for first place. But which skin is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. And if you want to talk to me or get a party of people for your games, consider joining my Discord. There's a link pinned in the comments. And thank you to Thatcher and Nova for helping me make this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.